my dad has a scuba dive in Brazil, and so since uh, when I was five years old, I, I needed the contact with the water. So it's so natural for me, for my family. Since I was a kid, I was competitive. <laughs> and, uh, it's about challenging myself all the time. So right now, with 42 years old, everybody asks me, why you choose me, man? 42 years old, I had to stay with your family or to have a job or something. But for me, I was trying really, really hard to break my own record. This is make me feel more competitive and stay swimming hard every day. People will always ask you when you win, they will say congratulations. They will then probably say, how have you done it because of your age? What is the secret to your success? The gene is, it's a secret. It's a, it's a secret. And the nutrition as well, to control what you have to eat, to drink, to recover fast, for example. And uh, discipline. Discipline is like, well, imagine if you have a Ferrari, a Porsche, for example, and uh, so man, you have to ride this car like uh, so fast, but you don't have the control, you know? You have the speed, but you don't have the control. And sometimes I see the swimmers with a lot of speed, but he, they, they don't know how to control this speed. This is a main problem in 90% uh, of uh, swimmers. If you have discipline, it's, uh, it's a great point. won world championship medals, continental medals, competed at Olympic Games, except world records. What do you see as your proudest and most memorable moments? Uh, I think my, my first uh, Olympic Games in 2008, and I went there, I swam for 22 low, I think, and I, I just got the semi-final for me. This it was a huge event, and the uh, fifth butterfly, I just start in 2012 after London and then uh, I swim in a, a Brazilian championship for 22-22 and I qualified for a world championship and I won this world championship and uh, Charles Lecolo was like uh, second place. I think that time started to, to provoke me to put more energy in this event and definitely my best result 2175 was incredible. So something like crazy for me in that time. And how often do you look back on those moments? You know, when you have a hard day, be it in the pool, training, or at home, and you think, hey, I'm a world record holder. <laughs> yes. Yes, as I, as, I, as I tell you, it's, it's natural, but I, I can understand the, the legacy, you know, that I built it in these years. I, I think the Brazilian guys really love the, my results, my career four-time world champion. I'm here not for, for money, I'm here to challenge myself and try to put my the Brazilian flag on the top. My career is like, it's crazy. <laughs> you have inspired so many to believe it's possible to keep going and achieving. I think you can lead with example. The 42-year-old Nicolas Santos competing at his last World Championships, a three-time winner of this event. You've got the gold medal in your hands, so tell us about the race and what it meant to touch, turn around and see the time that, you, that you'd got the gold in your last race, because the nerves yeah, must yeah. have been there. Santos, the 42-year-old, as they turn at the halfway point, Zabo it is who leads, and in lane number one, it's the swimmer from Singapore. He's not out of it, John, as they bring it home now. We watch the world record as well, and what a performance it is by Santos, the veteran, the old man. He wins again, and he lowers the championship record. Nicholas Santos. Defends his title. The first moment when I touch the wall and I see 2178, and I did this exactly this time 2178, 218, 2181, and my record 2175. It's pretty close. What do I have to change? <laughs> but my fourth world title definitely this was my, my best competition ever. I, I mean, the, the feeling, the, the memories, you know. I wasn't planning to say when I swim and say goodbye or something like that. 
And when I touch the wall, I, I want the gold flag. I think it's, it's time to say goodbye. Why? Because I'm 42 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I live really, really tired. And I have a son, he's six years old. I, I had to get to the school and then go to the swimming pool, go to the gym. I live my, my life is really tired and I need to, to feel the, the freedom, you know, to, to have a, a life like a normal person. How do you want to be remembered? What? I think uh, an example for, for the kids, for the, the professional swimmers and uh, as a nice person. I talk to all the competitors, Zabu talking to me in the pool, I don't know if you see it, but uh, Michael Andres as well, Chad Leco sent a message, uh, Florham Manadu as well. So a lot of swimmers in Brazil, master swimmers as well. A lot of master swimmers send a message. Oh my God, <laughs> don't retire, please. <laughs> I think some of them are scared you will come into master swimming. <laughs> yes, and after none of here, right? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's an option. Plan? Yeah, it's an option. <laughs> this memories is, is so nice to, to these guys to understand. You don't need to, to be like a different person when I, behind the block, so. I'm like a machine right now, and then I, I'm another person. So I think I prefer to, re, to be remembered like this. It's a nice person to deliver the, the knowledge with other competitors. A champion in and out of the pool. <laughs> Congratulations on an incredible career. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks.